Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my movie clues with the news of week 26. I know I haven't done this in like a month, but I'm finally back. And yeah, let's just get into the movie news. The Batman has earned 21.6 million in the first night previews at the domestic box office. Well done. Uh, I love that film. After Yang and certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes at 85% with 127 reviews. My review will be coming out probably today. Alessandro Mavolia has been cast as the villain alongside Aaron Taylor Johnson, Russell Crowe, Ariana DeBose, and Fred Hunter in Craven the Hunter. Cannot wait. Will Smith, like, this is probably the best thing ever. Um, Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan will star in a sequel to I Am Legend. Will Smith, Michael B. Jordan, great actors. I Am Legend, great movie. Cannot wait. A new Alien movie is in the works, with Freddy Alvarez set to direct and Ridley Scott set to produce. It is said to be unconnected to the previous movies. I'm excited for it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm excited for it. But yeah. Um, Freddy Alvarez's Alien movie will be released on Hulu and not in theaters. Um, yeah, I saw that coming. Uh, Fresh isn't a certified fresh. On Rotten Tomatoes at 80% with 125 uh, reviews. Unfortunately, I missed that boat for my review for Fresh, but I'll talk about it when I rank all the Mark movies I saw. Official still of Tobey Maguire and Spider Man No Way Home has been released. Spoilers if you have not seen <laughs> Spider Man No Way Home. Anyway, this was like a dream come true, this movie. And the Batman has received an A plus in cinema score. Well done, I gave it an A plus. The Batman has earned 128.5 million in the film's domestic box office opening weekend. Well done. Keanu Reeves will voice Batman in DC League of Super Pets. I was wondering who Keanu Reeves was going to play in this movie. I was like, because I saw his name on the cast, I was like, who would he be? Out of anyone in DC, I do not know. They would be. Batman, but that's awesome. I'm excited. And then he has his pet, uh, Ace, the Bat Hound, played by Kevin Hart. The Batman has earned 248.5 million in the films to make a worldwide box office opening weekend. That is insane. Robert, well, not insane for film, but you know, that's insane with like a lot of money. Robert Patterson says, uh, there are only two movies, well, three now, where I wanted to do a sequel. Uh, Apes, uh, movies, Sicario, and Dune. Yes. <laughs> Barry Jenkins teases his live action Lion King prequel. Kings aren't, uh, that's what he said, Kings aren't just born. They aren't just made. They have to become who they are. That's like some inspirational shit. I love that. Batman director Matt Reeves said that the Gotham PD spin off series has been promoted as focused to uh, Arkham Asylum. He describes it has learning into the idea of a horror movie or a haunted house that is Arkham. I'm excited for this show. This is a movie that I'm excited for, this next one. Ben Affleck, Anna de Armas, and Jacob Elordi star in the new trailer for the heroic thriller Deep Water. The film's release on March 18th on Hulu. Cannot wait for this film. Then we have the official poster for Deep Water starring Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas. Okay. I'm really excited for this film. A new Muppets series about the electrical mayhem band titled The Muppets Mayhem is in the works at Disney Plus with Lily Singh as it to start. The series will follow the band as they try to re record their first ever album. I'm excited for that. Gal Gadot teases the f uh, that filming has begun on her upcoming spy thriller, Heart of Stone. Right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, cannot wait for this one. I love Gal Gadot. She's a fantastic, phenomenal actress. Cannot wait. First trailer for the Puss in Boots. Uh, so called Puss in Boots last wish for release on um, like four days now. Next week, it will release next week. Um, yeah, I'm excited for it. I love Puss in Boots. I love the first one. I mean, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Felon Smith and Tyler Chikara 
has been cast as Harper and Colin Rove in Gotham's Knights uh, for the CW. The series follows Bruce Wayne's adopted son aligning with the children of Batman's enemies when they are all framed for killing Batman. Yes. That sounds awesome. A fifth The Walking Dead spin-off series is in the works titled Isles of the Dead. The series will star Lauren, uh, Laura Cohen and Jeffrey Dean Morgans. And Jeffrey Dean Morgans. Uh, as they explore the ruins of Manhattan. Ted Lasso season 3 has begun filming. I'm excited for that season. Rosario Dawson stars in the first trailer for DMZ. Directed by uh, Arv Ava DuVernay. The series premieres on March 17th on HBO Max. If you don't know what DMC is, it's basically a DC project. Uh, Turning Red is now at 92% on Rotten Tomatoes with 59 reviews. That's good. A God of War series is in the works at Amazon Prime Video. That sounds awesome. Never Have I Ever see, uh, has been renewed for the yeah, list of some sad news for the fourth and final season at Netflix. This, this makes me sad because I love this show. This is a fantastic show. But the th- Third season is coming out in June, July, or something like that. Yeah. Under the Banner of Heaven, starring Andrew Garfield and Daisy Edgar Jones, will premiere on April 28th on Hulu. Cannot wait for this. I, mean, I love Andrew Garfield. I love Daisy Edgar Jones because of her role in Fresh. She was phenomenal in that movie. First look at Henry Cavill and Dua Lipa. A Dua Lipa and Matthew Vaughn spy thriller Argyle, also starring. John Cena, Bryce Dallas Howard, Ron Cranston, and Samuel Jackson. Got it right here. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical on Dua Lipa because she's a singer. I don't know how she is in acting, but I guess I'll find out. The first look at Ewan McGregor and Ethan Hawks and Raymond and Ray for Apple TV Plus, a film that follows two half brothers who reunite at the funeral of their own father. I love Ewan McGregor and Ethan Hawke. Cannot wait for this. We have it right here, the first look. Um, yeah, cannot wait. Um, there we go. Then we have the first look at Zach Efron and Peter Farley's The Greatest Beer Run Ever for Apple TV+. Plus. I'm starting to really love Zach Efron as an actor. He's fantastic. First look at Ryan Reynolds, Will Ferrell and Octavia Spencer and Spirited for Apple TV+, Plus, a film described is a modern musical rendition of A Christmas Carol. Hello. I really don't know much about this film, but I am excited. First look at Henry Cavill and Matthew Vaughn, Spy Thriller Argyle, also starring Dora Leaper, John Cena, Brian Dow- uh, Dallas Howard, Ron Cranston, and Samuel Jackson. Right here. I'm really excited for this movie, though. Uh, the first look at Pretty Little Lies, reimagining. Pretty Little Lies Original Sin. The series will premiere on summer on uh, HBO Max. Right. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. Right. Florence Pugh is in talks to star in Doom 2. I love Florence Pugh. I think she can do great. First look at Ewan McGregor return, uh, return as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Right there. Can't wait for the show. May 25th, please hurry up. Now, first look at Ewan McGregor's return as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, whoa. Got right there. Looks sick. First look at Moses Ingram as the Insequator Raver in Obi-Wan Kenobi. No, the phone is a bit dark. Yeah, that's the best I could do, sorry. And yeah, can I wait? Cannot wait. First look at Joel Edgerton's return as Uncle Owen in Obi-Wan Kenobi. Looks amazing. Yuma McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi on the cover of EW, Entertainment Weekly, if you don't know. Uh, oh yeah, I was supposed to show that one. Really? Looks sick. Gotham Knights will release on October 25th, 2022. Um, I'm really excited for this show. And yeah, it's already on my anticipated uh, list. All TV shows of 2022. Yomi Gregor Obi-Wan will visit a new planet, uh, Deiju, I think it's called, in this series. And Joby Herald describes a planet uh, having a Hong Kong feel to it. It's got a graffiti written nightlight uh, as it is of the, uh, 
and it is kind of edgy. It's just got a different lane and feeling. I'm excited. The current Insequator will appear in Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Vikings Van Hala, uh, Bahala has been renewed for season 2 and 3 on Netflix. Season 2 was already filmed and released in 2023. Haven't seen season 1 yet, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully I'll see it soon. Maul Smith says he initially didn't want to do a sequel to Iron Legend, but the idea came up. Uh, I can't talk about it yet, but it is a really, really cool concept, and Michael B. Jordan was a part of, cre of creating the idea. Excited. Official still for Tobin Wire, Tom Holland, and Andy Garfield, and Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah. They look amazing. Can't wait. Christopher Abbott has been cast as the foreigner alongside Aaron Taylor Johnson, Ariana DeBose, uh, Russell Crowe, Alessandro Nivola, and Fred Hunter and uh, Craven Hunter. A24 has secured $225 million in Quentin, in, in Quentin investment to fund the strategic growth plan. They plan to use the investment to expand production and distribution worldwide and develop high quality uh, uh, and it is beyond the screen, beyond, yeah, beyond the screen. We have the first of it, Cold Sprouts and Lana Condor and Atrius Moonshot, also starring Mason Gooding and Zach Braff. The film follows two college students who board a space shuttle that take them to Mars to find their significant others. Really excited for this film. Looks really cool. The first show for Obi-Wan Kenobi has been released. The series premieres on May 25th on Disney+. Plus. My thoughts. Oh my freaking god, this looks amazing. May 25th, please hurry up. Ewan McGregor returns as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's look at them in the, in the trailer. Which is a trailer. Um, first of the Grand Antiquator and Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's amazing. And the first look at the Antiquators and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's be a second too, sorry. Yeah. Uh, first of it, Young Luke Skywalker in Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to revisit those memories. First of it, Disney's live action Pinocchio, film starring Tom Hanks as Geppetto. Yes, cannot wait for this film. Now we've got some bad news. Black Adam has been delayed. Yep, to October twenty first. 2022 and it was originally supposed to come out in July and it got pushed back to like three months oh and guess what Super Pets DC League of Super Pets has been delayed to July 29th because it, it was supposed to come out in May two months from now but it had to get pushed back but a movie that got pushed back till next year Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom has been delayed to March 17th, 2023. How awesome. But if you think that's it, The Flash has been delayed to June 23rd, 2023. Yes. But we've got some good news. Um, I love Shazam. Can't wait for this. Shazam Fury of the Gods has moved up uh, to December 16th, 2022. And... Or is it December 12th? I forgot that was. No, it's December. People say it's December 12th, but it says it's December 16th here. So it's either those two days. But some bad news is Avatar 2 comes out that week. Yeah, and if you know Avatar, the first one, it is the most highest grossing movie of all time. A bit at Endgame. So, yeah. I mean, I cannot wait for this one. It's definitely my most anticipated list. But one movie I'm really sad about that got delayed. Wonka has been delayed to December 15th, 2023, because it was originally supposed to come out like the middle of uh, 2023. Now, onto some weird but awesome news. Josh Peck has been cast alongside Killian Murphy, Robert Downer Jr., Matt Damon, Emily Blunt, Florence Pugh, Rami Malek, Benny Safdie, Josh Hartnett, Dane DeHaan, Jake Quaid, and Aldrin Killian uh, Emmerich. And uh, Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Yes, you heard it here first. Josh Peck. Let's see how this goes. Berman has crossed 300 million in the worldwide box office. That is really cool. 
Navia Robinson has been cast as Carrie Kelly in Gotham Knights for the CW. Congratulations. Tony Wood is certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes at 94% with 105 reviews. Congratulations. Now I've got some bad news for Tony Wood. Pixar employees said that Disney cuts nearly every moment of over, overtly gay fictions for their film, even if creating LGTQIA uh, plus content was the answer to fix the discrimination Levinson in the world. We are being bad for creating it. And some more. Pixar employees on Disney censoring some sex affection in their film. We at Pixar have personally witnessed beautiful stories full of diverse characters come back from Disney cooperative or corporate reviews shaved down to crumbs of what they once were. Yes. Pixar staff are demanding Disney to withdraw all financial support to those who backed uh, Florida's Don't Say Gay uh, bill and take a def- uh, decisive public stand on their shore. That's okay. Peaky Blinders Season 6 will release in the US on Netflix on June 10th. Um, well, we had a new like, trailer kind of for Midnight. Uh, I loved it. We've got some new images uh, for Midnight starring Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke. Kind of cool. Looks amazing. New look at Oscar Isaac and Moon Knight. Uh, yeah, my, my most anticipated uh, Marvel show. First look at Hayden Christensen is Darth Vader and Obi Wan Kenobi. Got my hair. Looks amazing. And the if you like the Boss Baby, I don't know why I put this in. Um, but the Boss Baby will be back in the crib, an animated series that follows the Boss Baby after he is framed for embezzlement will release on November, oh, sorry, on Netflix on May 19th. Don't know anything about this. I'm probably not going to watch it. And yeah, Hayden Christensen says we are going to see a very powerful Vader in Obi-Wan Kenobi. Joby Held adds his shadow is cast across many of what we do. He is very much a part of the show emotionally for Obi-Wan and possibly beyond that as well. That was really cool what Hayden Christensen said. We're going to see a very powerful Vader. Already got me hooked. Got new posters for Moonlight has been released. I love these posters. Um, yeah, probably the best posters I've seen. Oh, God. Oh, good me. There we go. Yeah, best posters I've seen. First poster, The Boys Season 3. The series premieres on June 3rd on Amazon Prime Video. Me. Oh, Carl Urban. Love that guy. And the first trailer for the final season of Better Call Saul has been released. The series premieres on April 18th on AMC. Really excited for uh, the season. Sad that it's the final season though. Final Condor, Cole, Sprouts, Mason Gooding, and Zach Braff signed the first trailer for Moonshot. The film releases on March 31st on HBO Max. I'm really excited for this movie. Austin Butler is in the talks to start as Red Ruther in Dune 2. He is playing Elvis Presley in the biopic for Elvis, if you're wondering. Lana Condor and Will Forte have been cast alongside John Cena in Coyote vs. Acme. The film follows Wiley Coyote as he decides to sue the Acme Corporation after Acme produce a products uh, I'm sorry, productions products god damn it, I'm I'm dumb as crap. Keep failing him from stopping the Roadrunner. I'm excited because I think these two are gonna do like a live action uh um what's the word characters? Austin Butler and Florence Pugh are the new potential cast members for Doom Part 2. The film releases on October 20th, 2023. Next year, let's go. We have the first look at National Treasure series for Disney Plus. I'm excited for it. Looks good. Harry Styles and Ty Sheridan were both booked out for the role of Wraith Ruther and Doom 2. And then last but not least, Pete Davidson will start in a comedy series about a fictionalised version of himself described 
is it similar to the Curb Your Enthusiasm? I love Pete Davidson, I, I think he's a fantastic character. Can't wait for this. Now to the box office. Number 10 is Marry Me, 9 is Scream, 8 is Sereno, 7 is Jackass Forever, uh, 6 is Saint 2, 5 is Death on the Nile, 4 is Spider Man Away Home, yeah, so that's 4. 3 is Dog, 2 is Uncharted, and 1 is The Batman. Now, Netflix Top 10 Movies slash TV. TV, 10 is Manifest, 9 is Making Fun, 8 is uh, One of Us is Lying, 7 is Love is Blind, 2, 6 is uh, LA's Finest, 5 is Worst Roommates Ever, 4 is Shameless, 3 is Inventing Anna, 2 is Vikings Van Halla, by Halla, and 1 is Pieces of a Woman. Now, for the movies, 10 is A Dog Swam Home, 9 is Instant Family, 8 is The Pirate Something, I don't know how to call it. The 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 the, 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 last royal treasure. Seven is Rumble, uh, Bumblebee, sorry. Six is, uh, Focus. Five is Against the Ice. Four is The Town. Three is Three, Ten to Yuma. Two is Justice League, uh, the 2017 one. And one is The Weekend Away. Number of such TV shows coming out this week. Uh, we have Turning Red. We have The Adam Project. We have Winning Time. The Thing About Pam. Bust Down. Last Days of the Tommy Gray, Upload Season 2, and I did this early days of Movie King Super News. We're going to rank these. In last place is the thing about Pam. Yeah, I got, I got no anticipation for the show. Don't even don't even know anything about this. Six is Bust Down. Same, don't know anything about this show. I'm uh, probably not going to watch it. Five is Winning Time. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited for the show. I love... Uh, the, the story of how the lake and of lake is so I'm hooked. Uh, four is the last days of the Tommy Gray. It's with Sam Jackson, so of course that has to be high. Three is upload. Really anticipated this season. Love the first. Two is turning red. I've heard some bad things and good things about this movie, so I'm going in open minded. Don't know anything about this. Well, I do, but I'm just going open minded. And one is the Adam Project. I cannot wait for this film. 9 p.m. after wait. I have to find like another bloody five hours for this film. This is too long. I can't wait with the great cast. Ryan Reynolds, uh, Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Garner, Zoe Saldana, uh, who else is uh, uh, Walker Stolen? Uh, I'm picking Quan Pena. I, I can't even read. That's like yeah, I mean, it's a sick poster. You want to see the sick post? It looks really sick, this poster. Hold on, let me get it up. Look at loads. Look at this sick poster. That looks sick. That's going to be my poster for my thumbnail, for my video. For my review for this one, dude. Absolutely. But yeah, can I wait? And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the movie Kings with News week 26. Uh, I'll probably maybe do one next week or the week after that. I don't know. Please hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a big help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.